and welcome to another edition of The Blackger Studio. Today we have with us the amazing Alexis Gordon, who is currently starring in Guys and Dolls at the Stratford Festival. And they just celebrated their opening night. Congratulations, Alexis. Thank you. Alexis Gordon, where were you born? I was born in London, Ontario, just down the street from here, sort of. 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. Very nice. So this is like your neighborhood. Ish, yeah. That's delightful. Yeah. And uh, are you an only child? What do your parents I'm do? I'm not an only child. I have <gasps> Talk an older to me. brother. I, I knew know. nothing of this, guys. Guys, we're complete opposites. No. I was gonna make a joke. We don't talk about him, but he'll probably see this. So I adore him. <laughs> He's getting married this summer. I'm a bridesmaid. It's exciting. That's amazing. You got the time off. No. <laughs> what was that? No. Just checking. Yeah. yeah. I'm an unappearing understudy in Tartuffe, and we've got a Tartuffe, so we'll see how it goes. Okay. Okay. Never a dull moment. The actor's life. Live theater, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Never miss a chance to see some live theater. Send the prayers. <laughs> okay, and what do your parents do? My dad owns a carpet and tile store. Uh, cool. all, or all flooring, hardwood, whatever. Um, and my mom, she does like health food services management. So she used to run like hospital cafeterias in London. But now she manages a hero burger in London. She's sort of trying to... Hero burger? I love the hero burger. It's tasty. I don't get free burgers, but I get a whole 10% off. So I'll take it. I mean, I guess. Okay. What's the benefit of your mom working at Hero Burger if you can't get a free burger? Hero Burger, I'm talking to you. So your parents, did they put you guys in singing, dancing, acting when you were really young? Or it's just you and how did um, that work out? I went to the Shakespeare School summer camp here at Stratford when I was 16. Um, which is 2006. I'm very young. Lols. Um, like, Blythe Wilson was in that season. Um, Shay Gardy was in that season. Jonathan Winsby was in that season. Anyway, I watched them. I was like, wow, I, I want to do this. I saw... Um, Janet Sears' Harlem duet at the studio theater. Oh, my God. And that must have been amazing. It was, but I sort of didn't think I could do the theater thing until I saw that because I didn't see anyone who looked like me on the stage. And then I saw that and was like, oh, I actually think I can. Karen Robinson was in that production. And oh, so was I Nigel Sean Williams, who, like, I've worked with Karen since then in Gravitational Pull, and she was here last season at Stratford. And it was, that's, an, that was great. that's an amazing story, actually. Yeah. So then from there... Um, Actually, I met Kyle Blair that season. Uh, he's from London. And I was like, I'm from London. we got to be besties. And he was like, go, just take all the classes. And I was like, yeah. So I did. Thank you, Kyle Blair, for inspiring young um, Alexis Gordon to take all the classes and become the star that she is. All because of you. No. Partially because of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You did your due diligence, <laughs> Kyle Blair. You did, and now you're with me at the Shaw Festival being brilliant in me and my girl. So let's just say from one brilliant actor to another. So it's like a summer camp. It's a two-week summer camp where, like, it's actually amazing. You get It's two weeks. You get to see, I think we saw 10 shows or something wow. ridiculous. And, I mean, you're exhausted the whole time. And they let you write You write your own musical based on, our year was based on Twelfth Night, actually. Very cool. And they split you up in groups, and you get a chunk of the show, and you get to write songs with Paul Shelton. And you feel like this superstar who just, like, wrote a song and performed it. It's 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 life-changing. And I still go back and, like, do chats with them, which is actually really fun. Beautiful. So you did yeah. that only one summer, and then that was, like, this was is 16, what I wanted to do. And I was like, sign me up. And so then what happened from there? Um, um, I had to get a color-coordinated calendar because I was doing so many things. I had, like... Choir on Tuesdays, highlighted in pink. Original kids on Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, highlighted kids? in blue. Um, so Kyle Blair did it back in the day, and so did, like, oh, I'm trying to think who. Everyone talks about Rachel McAdams, like, taught at the summer camp. Ben Sanders did it, too. Um, Amazing It's actors. this little troupe, and Trevor Pat, who's in Guys and Dolls with me. Um, it's, this, it's this acting troupe, and you can take classes, although I think I skipped that because they're on Saturdays, and my parents and I went, go to church on Saturdays. Um... But the first show I did there was like a gender reversed version of Romeo and Juliet. Amazing. Yep. And then I did like a Sondheim. Um, but yeah, you get to perform shows, I think, twice a year. It's a lot of fun. It's amazing. So you did this acting troupe. You didn't go to formal school. Um, I went to acting school and university after that. You did? Okay. This was so during high school. <laughs> of course it was. Yeah. Just like. Because she was only 16. on the calendar. Yeah. Actually, a quote, sort of cool thing um, was I, my high school did Guys and Dolls when I was in grade nine, and I was like, maybe I'll audition, and then I was like, oh, I think like, no, like theater, like it's for like skinny, pretty people, 
and I didn't think I could audition. Firstly, don't ever say things like skinny, pretty people, because that's what you are. Bless you. But, like, just, again, that no, moment yes, of, like, yes. not seeing yourself, your size, your color, your whatever on stage, I was just like, oh, no, I, I'm like, no, that's, no, I'll just watch or maybe volunteer or something. So I remember, like, watching it. Um, so it's sort of like a funny moment of, like, I'm Sarah Brown. And thank God I'm not a hot box girl, but God loves those bags. That, like, <laughs> They be dancing their faces off. Well, I mean, Donna Fjord, she mm. demands a lot from all of her mm. performers, her actors, her dancers, and her singers. So I don't, I do not doubt that they are kicking their face while you're singing your face. Ah. Well, I went to the U of Windsor, and it's a straight acting program. It used to be a conjoined. Um, they used to have a musical theater program, which like Kyle did. Um, I think Alana Bridgewater did that program too. Um, and now it's just straight acting, where they don't love the musical theater, but I was very stubborn and I decided to keep it up on the side. Um, I also went to Cap 21 in New York City. Uh, they have got a month and a half long summer program. It's, it's its own sort of independent conservatory program, but it, it can partner with NYU for a degree program. It's Fabulous. got different facets to it, but I was sort of like, I need my fame school. So I was like, I need to go to New York and take class and like skip down the streets and think I'm a star for a second. Which I was like, I'm going to live here. I'm going to move here. And then my mom was like, how about you go back to Windsor and finish your degree, please? And I was like, yeah, okay, cool. I'll do that, too. Yeah. Thanks, Mom. Yeah, thanks Keep me mom. on the straight and narrow. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. But that was a lot of fun. I took, like, tap there. And they're like, keep it up. Like, you're tapping. And think of two months ago when you couldn't. And I was like, yeah, yeah. And then I didn't. Yeah. And then she never tapped again. Came with a dance. <laughs> to hear more from the amazing Alexis Gordon, tune in next time on The Blackter Studio. I don't know if you can hear that tinka tinka tinka. See the dog? That's Harry. He's, I don't know if you can see Harry. He's just chilling. Yeah. Sunbathing back there. Oh. Or or not. Shadow bathing. Shadow bathing. <laughs> he's in the shade. Um, at any rate, so Harry that's not your brother's name. Robert. <laughs> Robert. We're gonna take it back a second. <laughs> Actually, we're gonna leave Robert alone because poor, poor Robert. you're like, what does he do? <laughs> it's true. That might be cut out. I love, thank you. Please cut that out. My mom will be like, Ha, 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 ha.